Hello everyone, um, I do have a channeled message really fast that just came through right now as I was pulling cards. Uh, we have self-sabotage, alchemy, home, ten of swords, ace of swords, and the five of cups. So what I'm getting here is huge transformation. We did see this card come out in the daily message for Instagram. Um, and the message here is a very interesting message. I am picking up that you are letting go of the self-sabotage, especially with the Ten of Swords here. There is this energy of you getting in your own way, you holding yourself back or allowing someone to hold you back. Because if you guys look at this card, this is a beautiful female who has one person or something having a grip on this person and then there's another person who is like let me offer you something but this offer might not be good it might lead to the ten of swords right so i feel like here this female this might be you regardless of your gender that there's this like your passion has died out, right? The candle is burning out. I do feel like you, there might be situations that are holding you back. And I do feel like these might be because these are skulls. This might be things from the past, people from the past actually, that are holding you back in some way. And I'm getting here with the Ten of Swords is that this situation has made you feel very hurt. Um, it has made you feel... For some of you betrayed in some way, okay? Um, but I am getting here also the energy of having a contract with someone, okay? There's a soul contract here with someone. And whether you believe in this or not, most likely you do. Because if you're watching my channel, you know pretty well that I love to talk about this. And it's about soul contracts, okay? We have soul contracts with people. And I do feel here that you've been dealing with someone. And I feel like... That you've had a contract with this person and this person was here to show you how you hold yourself back okay how uh, also they hold yourself they hold themselves back in some way and they also hold you or you or you guys hold each other back is kind of the energy that i'm getting here and i do feel like both of you have a strong grip for each other but i feel like this has become not healthy okay it has become something kind of um toxic and i do feel like you're being asked to break free from this contract here and i am seeing here because they did give me the number 5454 as i was pulling the card so this is telling me that you know your guides your angels your higher power is helping you at this time and supporting you in this difficult path of a lot of growth and a lot of change you're going through an alchemy process and you are taking this ten of swords self-sabotage energy and alchemizing it and you becoming victorious at the end of the day here with the ace of swords it's like now you have the wisdom as you have the wisdom of the owl here and you're able to cut through something see something for what it is okay and you you're noticing that Whatever it is that you were eating or indulging in was actually very toxic for you. And so you're realizing this because you were trying to force it. I feel like in some way there is this, like you're, how do I get this energy? Hold on. They're saying like you wanted to find a secure place. Like you're, you were trying to find a, a sense of home, a sense of belonging, a sense of you were yearning for this, of stability, of building a nest with someone or uh, just finding that comfort or that connection with someone. And it feels here like it just wasn't there. Okay. It just wasn't there. Either one person wanted it more than the other or just the situation for whatever reason, no matter what way you looked at it, it was not going to work or it was just not written for you guys at this time or in this lifetime. And I am getting here that they're, they're saying you're about to go through a very powerful transformation because nothing is exactly how it seems for others of you i am seeing someone is communicating with you because this woman here is looking at a card okay for some of you you are holding on to the past you're remembering the past too much this could be a person this could be a situation and i feel that you thought that this person or this situation was a better world for you was and was in some way your home or your safe place again was your nest but i'm hearing that this attachment to this person to this thing mm, 
is not allowing you to move forward. It's not allowing you to grow and it's not, and you're not allowing this person to grow either. You guys are staying stagnant in this energy. You guys are staying in the self-sabotage 10 of swords energy. And I feel like at this time, the energy is very powerful for you to break free from this situation or this person. Okay. Because it's going to look different for every single one of you, but I am getting that, um, the momentum is there. The energy around you is very, very strong for you to make this move, for you to take this time and, and take this, this energy and transform it, okay? Because I do feel like you don't want to be here, okay? You don't want to be here. Even if this person or this situation makes you feel like home or makes you feel like you belong in some way, it, it's not, you know, this is a bird and then we have the woman here and it's like... I don't know. It just the energy that I'm picking up here. It's like very frustrated energy. I just feel like mm -mm. that's all I could say is mm -mm. no. Okay. Um, give me a second. Let me see if I can get anything else here. You're meant to transform this challenging experience into something. It's supposed to reveal your gift. It's supposed to reveal your strength in some way. They're also saying the happiness that is one at a cost of another's misery is not worth the price. So I don't know who that is for, but that is coming through. They're saying consider. Someone might offer you something, but I feel like consider this and really weigh things out here. You know, who are we harming here? You know, is this what you want? Is it going to harm a home? Is it going to, is it going to, like, is, like, I can't even channel it. Like, is it going to, is it going to hurt people? Is it going to, you know, is it worth it? It's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. For some of you, it's all about divine timing. For some of you, it's literally that. Okay, but I do feel here that you are going to be triumph over this situation here, whatever this is, because it's it's just very toxic is the energy that I'm picking up. Yeah, the spirit is saying just cut your losses. It's time to cut your losses. Grieve whatever it is that you need to grieve. Grieve for what what might have been. But they're saying do not stay do not stay in this energy for too long. Remember who you are. Remember you are an alchemist. Okay, and remember that the, the feeling of, of wanting to feel at home, yearning for that connection, for that love, has to come from within. You have to find a sense of home within yourself first, okay? Because, again, the Spirit is saying there are better connections for you. And I'm seeing like the Aries sign. So I don't know if some of you are dealing with an Aries or you are an Aries. We have heavy air signs here and we have water signs. So water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Air, uh, Aries, I said again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius energy as well, Cancer. Yeah, I think those are the signs that I have. Yeah, they're saying just gather your courage and begin again. So something you've been dealing with that has been very hard for you, that has been something that was, that was kind of like a defeat, that held you back in some way you're starting over again with the ace of swords literally after the eight after the ten of swords we start with the ace of swords again i feel like you're leaving behind you are coming out victorious you have alchemized the feeling of of grieving of sadness and you finally are healing now because you've left this behind or you finally i don't know acknowledge or accepted the truth about something that was keeping you there yeah they're saying that it's the ending of a bad time. You're moving on. You're moving on. The energy just feels very light. Uh, they're saying do not force something. Okay, I am picking that up uh, with the five of cups here. It's like do not force it. If someone wants to leave, if someone doesn't want to be there, just let them go. You guys, just let them go. Okay, I am picking that very strongly. They're saying do not hold a grudge. Someone might be coming around to apologize as well. Someone's coming to negotiate terms of agreement. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> that's coming through. So yeah, take it as you will. Let's see what else am I getting here. 
um, there is this. You're creating a new sense of home. You're rebuilding with the home card here. Yeah, because Spirit is saying, remember that home. Home is an amazing, it's, it's a place that empowers you. It's a happy place. It's, it's the place you go to relax. And it felt like for some reason when you kept going home, it felt like it wasn't good. Okay, it felt like you weren't at peace. There was sadness there, but you're finally letting that go. Again, you're transforming that. There was a feeling of uneasiness. There was a feeling of hurt here. But you're letting it go because you're not you're not allowing whatever this situation was to sabotage your home or your sense of home. And so you're alchemizing that you're transforming that. OK, now I want to leave you with something here that is from a book that I love. It's <laughs> I don't remember what deck it is from, but I wrote it down. So I want you guys to uh, recite it. OK. So it goes, I now break any contract I have ever made with another consciously or unconsciously that has given them power over me, power over my sense of self, the authority to approve or reject me or anything about me, including my voice, my body, my creativity, my spirituality, and my way of living. Of my own free will, I now choose to directly perceive my own inner beauty and turn within with kindness and compassion to see myself through the eyes of unconditional love. Archangel Michael, I allow you to break and cut cords with anyone or anything that is hindering my freedom. So be it. Thank you. So that is your message for today. That is what I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful. It was just all of a sudden. <laughs> have a good day. Bye.